A Carroll County man is making it his mission to honor the people who have served in our military in the past, present, and future. I found out how bringing the memorial in Delphi back to life is about preserving history while inspiring future generations. This is America. Hard work, dedication, coming together, and honoring those who have come before who have paid the ultimate price. For John Newman, the military memorial in Delphi is the embodiment of our nation. I worked on this for 12 years, and I'll work on it for as long as I can. When the World War II era cannon that sits on the Carroll County Courthouse lawn was vandalized in 2008, Newman was in disbelief. Who could take out such evil on a memorial that represents not just the people of Carroll County and Delphi, but everyone who served in their families. And that's when his life took on a whole new purpose. He spent three years restoring the cannon and learning about its history. Everything from the paint color to the tires to the muzzle cover is a by the book replica of the M5 cannon. We know this unit was taken into northern France, and knowing that we have valid knowledge is the major work. And he did not stop there, adding all six emblems of the U.S. military to the memorial this year, including the newest branch, Space Force. He says this work is the least he could do for the people who sacrifice so much. Some of them, their loved ones don't come home. Others come home with physical wounds. Far too often, too many come home with wounds you can't see but they and their families live with it forever. He says he feels peace when he is at the memorial. You get a sense that you're not alone. And he hopes others can be inspired to keep history alive in their own communities. Perhaps as others see what a small town of middle of Indiana can accomplish out of respect and honor for the people who serve. If we can bring that spirit for people to know and cherish and remember, We've done our job. Anna Darling, News 18. Newman says his next goal for the memorial is to create a walkway for the local seven person honor guard to stand on during ceremonies. He'll be taking the idea to the Carroll County Commissioners in the near future.